I want to talk to you guys about the difference between power and influence. I know all you guys saw Monique. Well, the people who are fans of Monique, I'm a fan of Monique. I love what she what she's done for the culture. Um, very entertaining woman. Uh, very talented. Uh, so I'm a fan. So you know, if she ever want an interview, I'm I'm a check it out. You know, just want to just just want to strip of being a fan. So I watched the Shay Shay interview. I watched some parts of it. Three hours is long. You, you got to chop that up. I'm not sitting in one spot for three hours watching TV. Like, I'm just not going to do that. But for from the interview, what I saw from parts of the interview, what I saw, she talked about um, her her relationships with star artists such as like Kevin Hart, Tyler Perry, Oprah, etc. right? So her, her relationship with Kevin Hart, it seems like it was a good relationship. She was, you know, she was talking about Kevin Hart was calling like an aunt and a sister and everything else. And, and I guess her and her husband went on rough times or whatnot. And Kevin Hart came in and, and bailed him out. Right, like I not to say bailed him out. I guess he gave him a couple dollars or whatever, and she gave it back. Her and her husband gave it back with interest, as she said. And then she proceeds to talk about what Kevin Hart didn't. She starts to talk about how Kevin Hart, I guess, promised to executive produce a show, and the idea was if Kevin Hart jumped behind it, it's a go. But I guess it didn't happen. So Monique said, I'm gonna call Kevin Hart's manager. She calls Kevin Hart's manager. And you know, I guess they were saying like, look, we don't want nothing to do with it, whatever, whatever. Monique called Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart says it's a miscommunication. And from Monique's, stand, uh, from Monique's words, she didn't talk to Kevin Hart in four years after that. Since, since the champions called Kevin Hart since then, which is like four years ago. Now, here's where we get into where power and influence. None of us know what really happened. This Kevin Hart, Monique story. But if I'm looking at it, if I'm looking at it with a logical lens, I'm thinking to myself, well, if you had to talk to all these people to get to Kevin Hart, and Kevin Hart said it's a miscommunication, and Kevin Hart didn't circle back to make it happen, Kevin Hart probably didn't have the power that you thought or he thought at that time. Because that can happen. There's times when you might feel like, yo, I can get you in, I can get you in this club right here. I can get you in. And you really genuinely feel like that. You really feel like I can get you into the club. And then it might be a new manager there. It might be a new, uh, another, another promoter who you thought was uh, going to be there. He's not there. You hear what I'm saying? So it could be that type of situation where, yo, man, I can't do it. I just can't do it. Now, let's talk about the whole influence of power thing, right? Kevin Hart calls Monique or whatever. Monique calls Kevin Hart and, she, and Kevin Hart said, yes, we, this is going to be good. We, this is going to be really good. Put me on the executive producer. The show was a go. That's influence. You see Kevin Hart's name, you're going to want to watch it. That's influence. Now, here's power. Hey, Kevin. Yeah, I hear you trying to do the show with Monique. Man, I don't think that's going to work because Monique, she got a bad rep with this person over here, that person over here. I can't do the, the deal with you and Monique, but if you decide to, man, I, I, I really fear that they're going to pull out of your other deals that they got with you because they see you standing next to Monique. That's power. Power is the people who can push the green button. It's going to say yes. Power. Is signing the check the guys who can sign the check my personal opinion is that Kevin Hart he thought he had some power in the situation that he didn't at the time now maybe he does now now maybe he does now but here it goes back to what I was saying about like the exposed culture in my previous video you don't want to burn bridges so sometimes things don't work out the way you want it to work out and that's okay. Sometimes you probably just not ready for that opportunity. Sometimes the opportunity ain't ready for you. What you don't want to do is expose or call yourself exposing someone or outing someone. And then later on, you got to go back and fix your wrongs. Later on, you got to go apologize. 
if it ain't gonna mean nothing to me, if it ain't gonna mean nothing to me in five years, I really don't be the touch on it. If it is gonna mean something to me in five years, there's a certain way I'm gonna go about it. And it ain't gonna be opening my phone and talking to the world. Unless you, cause you gotta be really upset or you gotta be say, listen, I'm, I got the money I need out of this. I'm okay with starting all over. I'm okay with working from the bottom. I'm okay with switching industry. Or you gotta have the money saved up, one of the two. But if you don't have that, if you don't have that attitude, or you don't have them finances, you really can't take the route of exposed culture. And then also, exposed culture shows a lot about your character. It shows a lot about your character. It shows that when this person is upset, this is what they'll do to you right here. They'll they'll talk shit about you no matter how much they helped you. Because Kevin Hart still helped her. He still gave her some money. Still did a lot of shit for her. Things didn't go away, and she exposed them. I want to make sure you guys understand the difference in influence and power, exposure. Make sure we make sure we operating with our future selves. Make sure we, we're being the person we want to be five years from now, right now. Sometimes you're gonna take some hits, you're gonna take some losses, but you gotta make sure your decision making when you take them hits and losses doesn't alter or hinder any progress in the future. I'm not sitting here saying be a rug, lay down, or whatever. I'm just saying that there's other ways you go about it. I'm not talking about nobody else when I got the spotlight. If I'm Monique, if I'm if I'm someone who's trying to get some shit done, I'm not talking negative about nobody because I want everybody to jump on board with what I've got going on. I don't want nobody to feel like if I they get with me, they going I'm gonna do some bullshit. So let's make sure we doing taking the right steps. We operate into our future selves. Uh, we ask for favors all the time. Sometimes people can do it. Sometimes people can't. Just make sure we understand what's what's power and influence. Um, and let's stay less emotional when it comes to business and not get into the whole exposed culture.